Hello Bamboo users, I'm here with the Bamboo Lab A1 and today we are going to go over how to change the nozzle to a different size. Here in front of me is a stainless 0.2 and a hardened steel 0.8. As you might guess, the 0.2 nozzle is smaller than your standard 0.4 nozzle and it's better suited for small details. And the 0.8 nozzle is larger and more suited for lower detailed or larger prints or prints that you need to complete in less time. There are two different materials, stainless steel and hardened steel. Hardened steel can be identified by the black color. Stainless steel can be identified by the silver color. Hardened steel is better for abrasive filaments such as glow in the dark. Stainless nozzles are more susceptible to wear from abrasive filaments. While you can work with abrasive filaments using a stainless steel nozzle, you are better off working with a hardened steel nozzle that is less susceptible to wearing out. You may be wondering, what about the gear? Do I need to replace the A1 gear with the stainless steel gear assembly? The good news is, no, you do not. Both the A1 and the A1 Mini come with the hardened steel gear assembly pre-installed. We are going to swap out the stock 0.4 nozzle for a stainless steel 0.2 nozzle. You can follow along to complete this process and install the nozzle of your choice. During this installation video, you may notice I am holding a 0.4 nozzle at times. This is because I will reuse some footage to save me some time while shooting these nozzle videos. All these nozzles install the exact same way. Here, we are looking at the A1 tool head. This is the same tool head on the A1 Mini. If your tool head is in an inopportune location, you may gently slide it across the linear rail. Unlike other printers that require your nozzle to be hot in order to change it, we are going to do the A1 nozzle cold with the machine powered off. If you don't trust yourself, unplug it just to be sure. The A1 tool head has a simple snap-on cover. The A1 cover rests on two tabs, so we will pivot the cover off this way by getting underneath the front cover with our fingers, putting our thumb here, and simply prying upward. The A1 cover will pop right off. For those of you who are scared, here's a look at what the two tabs look like. Here is those tabs on the cover, and you can see they simply rest inside those slots and we are just popping the cover off and picking it up off those two slots. Now it's time to replace the nozzle. Let me raise my FlexiSpot desk. If you like this desk, hit the link in my description. This here is a silicon sock or a silicon boot. Under it is your nozzle. This entire unit is effectively your nozzle. You will not be changing just the nozzle you will be changing this entire unit. Some of you older school printers may find this a little different. Step one, remove this silicon boot. Don't be scared, just go ahead and get in there and yank it off. Unlike older printers, this silicon boot doesn't pry off downward, it pries off forward. You can see how it's open in the back, solid in the front. With the nozzle exposed, you will spot this little clip right here. It looks almost like a bent paper clip. Take your finger in front of that clip, support your hand on the air duct, and firmly push to the right. This should take very little effort. You will notice the clip has opened. With that clip open, go ahead, grab this hot end, and simply work it down and forward. To install the new nozzle, take that nozzle with the words facing you and the magnet facing right. Turn it right one time so it will, yes, be sideways. Place it in front of the tool head with a slight angle towards the back and just work it in. You will actually feel the magnet suck the nozzle into place. Would you look at that? It's sitting there 
all by itself. Here is the clamp that we opened earlier. Take this plate and push it over the nozzle. Then take this locking clip and squeeze it into place over that plate. Your new nozzle is installed. Time to replace the silicon boot. Unlike many of your older printers, where the sock is pressed down from the bottom, this one is pressed down from the front. I'm going to reach behind the hot end with my thumb on the silicon boot and simply depress it forward. You may actually hear the nozzle snap into place. When it's installed properly, there should be no movement. The sock should be firm. With the new nozzle in place, it's time to install our tool head cover. We will line up these tabs into these notches. Fold the cover down and press it in place. The cover will snap in and you're all set. Touch setting, touch maintenance, touch nozzle, and select the nozzle you've installed. I have installed a stainless 0.2, so I will touch 0.2. If you've installed something different, such as a hardened 0.8, simply touch hardened 0.8. Once you have selected this option, it is automatically saved. You don't need to press anything else. You may simply back out to return to your home screen. Here I am in Bamboo Studio. On the top, you will see my current profile, Bamboo Lab A1 0.4 nozzle. You are simply going to click this, scroll down to System Presets, and look for the size nozzle you have installed. I have a 0.2 nozzle. Keep in mind, this pull down only shows the nozzle types that you informed Bamboo Studio you have in your possession. If you have recently acquired a nozzle type that you did not check while setting up Bamboo Studio, you will need to do that now. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and look for select slash remove printers in parentheses system presets. Click on that. Here you will see your printer selection screen and it's really this simple, A1 Mini, A1. Which nozzles do you own? 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and I now own a 0 0.8. You will notice it does not differentiate between stainless and hardened. Within Bamboo Studio, you will simply choose the size of the nozzle. Go ahead and press confirm, and you will now see that that 0 0.8 nozzle size I just clicked on is available in my pull down menu. Should you feel the need to make any other adjustments for the material of your nozzle, stainless or hardened, you will do that yourself here in the filament settings where you can change nozzle temperatures, cooling and other specifications. And that's it. You have successfully changed the nozzle size in your Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 Mini 3D printer. Hello Bamboo users, I'm here with the crap. 